Hello everybody. I got a few suggestions and ideas and questions about something which they all had in common, namely spirals. Be it some ornament ring like the one I did here, be it at the top of a column which I did here and if you look at this shape here then if you would do it a bit differently you could also do a seashell or a snail house and I did some other samples here for example the starting point was a square this one was uh, four straight lines. This one was a spiral segment. Here I made the wheel of a water pump which also contains spiral segments and here is some fantasy thing which could also made in a seashell. Anyway I will not do any of these models. I will concentrate on showing how to make and work with spirals. So let's go to the model tab <clears throat> and control N make a new scene top view hit the A key then I use uh, the pen tool in lines mode because usually the spline curves give me too much geometry. You might uh, try this out yourself. It works both ways. And I start with putting a straight line in here. And make this flat and put it on the set. Okay, now the first thing is depending on with what you start, it doesn't have to be one line only, it can be as many as you like. Uh, it doesn't have to finish here. If you want to have a closed shape, then you need to put it in the middle. I start this here just uh, to show what happens. The next thing is I go to duplicate, radial sweep and I have set up something already, count of 48, which is uh, 3 times 16, which means the end angle must be 3 times 360 and I make this uh, 600 millimeters. Then action center origin, click in the viewport go to the side view, remove everything and then I create a fall off, a linear fall off and this is by far the easiest method to uh, make a spiral. So bring it up to here. This must be 600, this must be 0, 0, 0. Good. Then I go to top view R key and bring in this as far as uh, we need or like. Drop the tool, go to the right view, get rid of the fall off <clears throat> and now we can, uh, oops, I think we need to polygon reduce, unify, force unify, OK, 48 unified and flip everything. This is one way of doing it with Modo 701. You have the uh, uh, mesh cleanup script or maybe even with uh, 601. So now what we can do here is for example, select the edge here, set key and bring this down 
and uh, make it into a shape we like. I will really leave this up to your imagination and fantasy and creativity. Hit the R key. R again, but on the green circle. If you want to do a column, you make it this way. If you want to do a seashell, you probably do it this way. Okay. But the disadvantage of this method is when we make this spiral, also the geometry gets smaller. And maybe we would like to make uh, a spiral string and then we cannot have that the material get smaller. But what we can do in such a case is, I select this edge, control copy, press the N key for a new mesh, control V, copy it in, make the other mesh not, mesh not visible, and now we have only the spiral. If I select it in edge mode, you see we have 48 edges. And if I select it in polygon mode, we have 48 polygons, which means we can do certain things which we can do with polygons. Not all, unfortunately, we cannot thicken this, but I can polygon extrude it, so shift X and bring them down to here drop the tool and I run the mesh cleanup script again, deselect everything and that looks not so bad. Now we can go to polygon thicken and can thicken this in whatever way we like. Like so. And we have the same uh, geometry size throughout oops, the spiral. Um, for example, what we also could do is I select only this here. Then control X, go to a new mesh, control V, we don't need to see this one. And then I can press the R key and flatten this. And now we can make a nice ornament, like the one I showed you on the uh, ring. Then I can shift X this one, click in the viewport and bring it down like so. Drop the tool, deselect everything, select this polygon here. Now I can go to top view, uh, select all these edges in here, maybe this one as well. Go to vertex, set position, uh, zero on the set. Drop the tool, now I can select this, control copy, control V, E key, control rotate this 180 degrees. Drop the tool, W key, and bring this over to here. A bit closer, like so. And now I can select these edges here. R key on the X and Z, same here, R key on X and Z. Now I can run mesh cleanup and it has merged four vertices. Now this is one piece of geometry which we can use uh, to make an ornament, for example, for jewelry or I put this in the middle. <clears throat> uh, 
and I slightly rotate it about so yes now if you plan as I did on the ring to bend this then you cannot uh, use uh, instant instance clone then you must use real clones otherwise you cannot bend it that's just as an aside okay so let's delete this and let's do something different sometimes we don't need um, no let me do something else first sometimes we would like control copy I go to a new mesh control V sometimes we would like to um, curve extrude something and unfortunately this must be a real curve but it's not a problem we can make a real curve from this one by going to the snapping options and say snap to vertex then I click in the viewport you see and I have both layers in case we would like to do it on the background layer I go to top view and I think I make the words visible and now I can select the curve tool and start to draw out a real curve drop the tool now I can select my previous I can select this curve the new one go to a new mesh control X this one go to the new mesh control V and here is our curve and when I select it in polygon mode now you see this is one polygon not 48 we can now render out this curve and what we also can do is uh, we can go to perspective <coughs> and I can draw out uh, a cylinder with maybe eight sides it doesn't have to be aligned properly no problem at all and now we select the curve first shift select uh, the cylinder and then go to duplicate curve extrude and click in the viewport and it has done this deselect everything and flip uh, unfortunately we cannot put a curve in our presets but what we can do is we can select this here for example go to item mode and now we can put this uh, spiral with the curve inside in our presets I have done this here so I will delete everything here and you see in my presets I have a spiral and this spiral contains the curve as you can see I can select the curve in polygon mode then inverse the inverter selection 
and delete and I'm back with a spiral so I'd only have to do this once. Okay, let's delete this and I show you a last thing namely when you only need curve segments as I needed for example for this pump wheel. So I go to basic, um, new mesh and a key and then I draw out a cylinder with uh, oh, 500 and 500 and 24 edges. Drop the tool. We don't need to see the words anymore. Then I select this B for bevel, bevel it in a bit, then middle mouse button and bevel it in a few times more. Delete. Drop the tool. <clears throat> Let's check if our vertex snap is still on. No. Now I take, uh, no, I use the normal pen tool in the lines mode that gives not so much geometry and then I can start to draw out a new curve here, this way, which is a spiral segment. And we can use this one for example, or this is what I did, I used it, I went to duplicate, uh, radial array, count of 12, action center, origin, and then you already have the basics for this water pump. It's just a matter of uh, polygon extruding it and thickening it. So that was all I wanted to tell you for today. There are tons of ways one can use spirals and play with shapes and ornaments and it is quite a fascinating uh, thing to work with. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Oh, by the way, I forgot something. I am now a YouTube partner and I can use custom thumbnails. So this will be the first one. <laughs> Take care again. See you some other time. Bye bye.